Get in, losers. We're going bargain hunting. What is up, everybody? Uh, you know the deal. Weather's garbage, but here we are. Uh, today's video, a little bit different. Uh, I got a, I think it's a bargain, yeah, but we're going to build ourselves a new tool because I'm addicted to buying tools, but I'm also cheap. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I saved some money on this deal and hopefully I'll be able to use it for the next video on the truck. Um, so this one's going to be pretty different and also very short. Hopefully. I always say that. Um, I did. I have been working on the truck. Uh, I got this section all sanded and painted yesterday. Because uh, I knew the weather was going to be bad today. But um, you guys are probably watching me. You. There. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, you guys are probably tired of watching me paint and sand stuff. Not in that order. Idiot. Uh, so, I didn't film any of it. I just put in my headphones and I got it done. So, it is what it is. Um, but, now I'm going to set you guys up and... We're gonna see if we can't. This tool has some assembly required, but it saved me about a hundred dollars. And I'll explain all that when we get into it. So uh yeah. Cut to the next scene where I'm doing something. Okay, so this is probably gonna be a little bit awkward to film because I don't normally do stuff like this. But, uh, Milwaukee, uh, two five two two dash twenty three inch cutoff wheel. Uh, I already have one, uh, but I bought this one because they just lowered the price at Home Depot, so hundred bucks. Uh, then. You guys know how much I like the Harbor Freight. So, really combining the best of both worlds here. Uh, picked up a, hold on. Picked up a, a belt sander. Uh, some extra belts. Don't need the bag. And then, I purchased I would show you the, I would show you the package, but there's nothing on it except for my address, which I will not be showing you. Uh, but off of eBay, I ordered. What is this? What? What is this? This. Maybe you guys can see M12 Milwaukee Belt Sander Conversion Kit. Uh, seems relatively simple. Just comes with a, a drive for the belt and the a, aluminum conversion block to go on the cutoff wheel. And, uh, yeah, it will convert this cutoff wheel into a battery powered belt sander. So I'm going to get all this stuff opened up uh, and cut all that out for you guys. And then we will figure out how to put this deal together because I'm literally just opened it for the first time and hopefully did not show you my address. Uh, quick product plug. Also, it's Saturday morning, so I'm drinking coffee out of it. 
but uh handmade pottery custom with the rusty speaking custom logo uh check out the link for case corky creations uh you don't have to get a mug with my name on it you can get virtually anything you want so check out our website and i'll be right back okay so i have acquired a kitten since the last time i spoke to you uh so if you hear a cat meowing it's a kitten i don't know where it came from but it's raining outside so i'm gonna let it hang out but uh i kind of got everything opened up uh I grabbed my finest interchangeable bit screwdriver because uh, there's some torques you got to take off. The The kit for the drive roller uh, actually comes with the torques you're supposed to need, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I guess first thing we'll take this apart. Um, this is the that three inch cutoff wheel that I was talking about um, I just paid a hundred dollars from Home Depot for this which is cheaper than I bought my other one uh, I was just gonna swap it back and forth but I seen that these they knocked fifty dollars off of them so I thought why not build another one and I'll explain the money side of it when we get to the end so you can kind of see my thought process. Uh, first things first. Uh, there's a red lock button here. Uh, you just you just do something. You just push it and twist, and this big guard comes off. Um, now, hopefully, maybe you guys can see. There are Torx bits down in here that hold this guard on. Uh, we'll also have to pull this uh, retaining nut and bolt out. Um, that is reverse thread. So luckily Milwaukee is kind enough to send you the Allen wrench that you will need. And I am dumb enough to drop it through the hole in the table. So that's fine. Um, uh, where did you go? Hello? How did I, how is it gone? How did it leave? Kitten, make yourself useful. Where did I drop it? How is this possible? Oh, I know. Don't worry. Kitten hooked me up. So on this, there's a a spindle lock, I guess that's what I call it on the top. Uh, this reverse thread, which screws with me all the time because my brain is not wired backwards. Even though I'm left-handed, it's still not wired backwards. So we'll remove this. There's a I don't know the technical term, but I call it uh, like a, I don't know. It's a, it's a tool. It's the little retaining things for the cutoff things, you know? I think that's the scientific term. Uh, get that off. And then we will remove these. Torques, hopefully you guys can see that a little bit. Uh, you don't need to see all of it because it's fairly self-explanatory. Shut up, little kitten. Uh, yeah, it's always nice to work outside with the animals. It's great. Uh, okay, so four screws out. Now we have just a bare drive on there. So... Those torques we just took out, you're gonna be reusing. Uh, this is the billet. I say billet, it's aluminum. It feels very cheap. Uh, 
but we were we're gonna give it a shot and if it doesn't work I wish I had a lathe because I would just make one that's probably better quality but anyway now you just reassemble re this I, you should be able to see i'm trying to use a light so you guys can actually see what i'm doing but uh these holes are not um evenly spaced or concentric or whatever the the big college word is um, I did glance through the instructions and it said to be very careful when starting these because they have a tendency to cross thread, I guess. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. Just, it said basically just work across kind of in a star pattern and just uh, pay attention while you're snugging them down. Make sure that they're not going in cross-threaded. Um, but, you know what they say, cross-threaded is nature's Loctite. But, if you plan on using yours as a cutoff wheel again, probably don't want to do that. So, there's that. I also didn't really read the instructions that well, so hopefully that's what I was supposed to do. Now, really, I think the right way to do this would have been to make this keyed to match this hub, uh, but they did not do that. So, and I will say that this, this piece and this piece were $50. Um, I do feel like for $50, you should have been able to get a better quality piece. But, we're just going to see what happens. So now this, we're going to drop this screw back in. I know, kitten, I know. Uh, and then this, again, reverse thread, spindle lock on the top. And just going to snug it a little bit. Okay. So that should be... We should be good on this for a minute. We'll move over to this. Uh, this was $24.99, I think, at Hobo Freight. Um, and I'm going to... When we get to the end, I'll kind of, I'll put on the screen each thing that I bought with the price and uh, we'll kind of compare it to, some of you might be saying, Milwaukee makes one of these, you can just buy it. And you're right, but it's pretty significant amount more than this situation right here. Okay, so. Uh, the, they give you an Allen wrench with the Harbor Freight tool. Uh, you just loosen the guard and it slides right off. And hopefully slides right onto here. I don't know if there's a... Stop. It doesn't appear that there is. So just, I guess just try and make the belt line up. Actually, I just went ahead and pushed it all the way against here. And it seems, it seems like it's lined up pretty good. So you can kind of see, now you can kind of see what we're going to end up with. Uh, I'm... So far, pretty pleased with how simple this was. Uh, and this is 
This is the 3 8 by 13 belt version. Uh, you can buy you can buy a half inch wide belt version, the adapter and the Harbor Freight deal. But the to get the half inch wide one from Harbor Freight is $75. And all you're doing is transferring this part over. So I didn't really think it was worth it. Maybe at some point it will be, but right now I'd, I'd, I went with the cheaper option because I'm cheap, okay? So this is, I mean, that's pretty much it. It didn't hardly take any time at all. I barely read any instructions, so that means you guys should be able to do it too because, you know, I'm an idiot. And then I picked up a couple packs of these uh, cheap belt sander belt thingies. And uh, let's see if we can figure out how to get these onto here. This does have, I guess I should talk about this. This Harbor Freight, this version, whatever part, it's got like a, like a lock so you can pull this down and it locks in place. I'm assuming that's to put the belt on and then you put tension on the belt like so. So we're gonna see right now how well that works. Okay, simple enough. Belt is on and tension. Let me, uh, give me one second, let me grab a battery and a drink of coffee out of my custom mug and we'll give this thing a whirl. Okay, so I set you up. Uh, I've talked about it too many times already. Uh, we're gonna be putting all new rocker panels on this thing. Uh, you can't see, but whatever, just trust me. The bottom of them's pretty rough. So what I'm hoping is that this little guy here will make quick work of grinding out these spot welds. So we're gonna try one and we'll learn together if it's gonna work or not. All right, and just like that, uh, let me bring you in a little closer. You can see the the line around it. Uh, I mean, it's not lightning fast, but I feel like it works pretty good. So, uh, so far, I'm happy with it. Okay, well, welcome to my office. Uh, or my, my little corner where I get to do things. Uh, sorry about the ring in my eyes. Uh, I'm trying to use the fancy influencer light, uh, and I wear glasses. So I, I, I don't know. I, it is what it is. Okay. Better than being in the dark, I guess. Uh, so I wanted to go over a couple things very quickly about this. Uh, you just watched it work. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it for what I wanted it for. Um, I won't use this on every tack weld, probably. I'll probably drill most of them. But in places, I don't want to have to take the doors off. So in places I can't get a drill to, uh, this will help me take care of that. And then... When it comes to metal finishing, now I'm using it as a pointer. I don't know why. Uh, when it comes to metal finishing, this will help with that also. So that's added bonus, I guess. Uh, so what I wanted to say, most of you who are watching this probably know Milwaukee makes they makes a 3 8 version and a half inch version that you can buy ready to go. 
Uh, you don't have to do any of this stuff or gather enough parts or whatever. But I'm cheap. So uh, I probably lose money with the amount of time I, I spend looking at stuff, uh, trying to come up with stuff like this to save money. But I don't know. It still makes me feel good if I can get it cheaper what it's supposed to be. So, uh, supposed to be, it's probably not the right phrase to use. Uh, anyway, so the, I'll, I'll put this stuff on the screen over here. Uh, this was $99.99 at Home Depot plus tax. I'm not even going to include tax because it's different for everybody anyway. Um, this was $24.99. I think $26.99, whatever. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen and you'll know that I'm wrong. It's fine. Um, the little packs of belts were only a couple dollars, four or five bucks, something like that. Um, the adapter kit I will put on the screen also, and I'll put I'll put links to all this stuff in the description too. Uh, I believe it was 49 right around $50 uh, with free shipping. It's been a while looking for that too. Um, so you can do the math. I'll do it. Maybe, maybe I won't because I can't add uh, whatever. 175 bucks, give or take your state's tax or whatever. Um, the 3 8 version uses the exact same belts as this. If you buy it straight from Milwaukee, which looks exactly like this, other than all of this stuff is black, uh, and probably nicer, honestly, but this works. I just used it. Uh, 200... I believe it's $249 or $259. Again, I'll put that up on the screen. Uh, their half inch version, half inch wide belts, uh, which are also, I think, 18 inches long instead of 13, uh, is two, right around $280. Uh, that's not including tax and stuff. So, uh, this is a little bit of extra effort on your part, but the way I see it, I saved at a minimum $75 by doing this. And the other side of that is I have, if you didn't already have one of these, you now have a tool that will do two different things, uh, really more than two different things. Uh, these things will cut tile, like ceramic, um, you can cut wood with them. You can you can cut all kinds of stuff. They have different blades, different uh, cutting wheels. They have diamond ones. Um, you can use it to cut metal like I use my other one for all the time. Uh, so, you, you have a multi-purpose tool for less money. And also, I could have, I could have not bought another one of these. And it would have cost me $75 to have this if you already have the cutoff wheel. So, uh, all around, I feel pretty good about it. Uh, I like to get a bargain when I can. Uh, and I feel like this was a pretty worthwhile endeavor, if you will. Um, I will be using this in the next video when I do those rockers on the truck, uh, which will be next week's video. Um, so if you watch that one, you will get a little bit more of a long-term one, one job worse of a review on it. Uh, it does seem like the belts are going to wear out pretty quick. That could very well be because I bought Harbor Freight belts. Uh, so I may have to order some good ones, but overall, so far, I think this is worth a little bit of extra effort and if you save yourself 75 to a hundred dollars 
why not, right? Uh, especially if you get similar results. So, uh, on that note, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I know this is not the kind of video I normally do. Um, but honestly, I spent a full day working yesterday on stuff that wasn't worth videoing. And I was also very excited about this new tool because I have a tool addiction, uh, almost as bad as my car addiction. So thanks everybody who watches and subscribes. Uh, if you can share videos, if you want to, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, I do at some point this year have to make a decision on how, if I'm going to keep trying to go at the pace I'm going uh, on these because it is quite a bit of work, but uh, I like doing it and I'm going to do it as much as I can. So uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. I'm going to stop rambling and we'll see you next time. Come on. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. See you on the next one.